You put them together, you put the back over them. The problem here is the synchronization of the courses because once you sex a person, a female to a male, it's flowering earlier than a female and then it sheds the pollen. So you need, you need to kind of send the females into flower. Then after that, you need to treat the plants. It should be a male, like uh, in a it's a very special protocol to synchronize this stuff. And within this um, entire setup, what you see here, we had to know there are some plants that flower very quick and some that take forever to flower. For the course of four weeks, we were bagging up these plants. So we were always checking, is this female flowering? Male yeah, flowers, put them together, back them up, and then continue this process. But we have here 960 crosses in the next class, so we have another 800. I'm very satisfied with the seed quality coming out of this. I'm Maximilian Vogt, I'm the head breeder of Pure Gene, and I work with PBS International Pollination Bags. They work extremely well for, for us because we can do thousands of crosses in such a setup where we cross two individuals together to produce the right um, crosses and the right seeds for different systems in terms of research populations where we see that all the genotypes are the um, genotypes you wanted to have in the first place so there were no cross-contaminations with pollen or different off-types what we could expect from open pollination systems. Um, these bags work extremely well for us. We can use them in a high throughput manner so we, we can do um, 2,000 crosses. We set them up in just one or two days. So it works extremely well. And as I said before, these the crosses we get out of the system are very consistent, we get a high seed number per cross and in general I'm very satisfied with the seed quality coming out of these.